All right. Uh, wel welcome to a memorialistic bowl of dude soup. Since it's a holiday, we are back in it's dude soup classic. Uh, <laughs> That's what Lawrence is calling. Brought it, it back after new dude soup because people didn't like the flavor so much. But boy, did we sell a lot of bowls of dude soup. Um, so yeah, uh, we're we're here because we're on vacation or we're on vacation today. So this has been pre-recorded. Unless you think we're trying to pull the wool over your eyes, I'm joined by myself. I'm Lawrence. I'm also joined by Adam. Hello, Adam. Hey, what's up? Uh, James. Hello, James. Hello. Bruce. Hello, Bruce. Oh, hello. And way in the back there. Benson. Way in the back. There she is. That's Elise. Happy Victoria Day to our international listeners. Yeah, I'm not going to wear that poppy or whatever. What, what? is it? That's what? not what this, that's you not for this. Poppy? Poppy it's for Remembrance Day. You guys have two days where you remember people? And they're both on Memorial no, Day? No, no. Who's, who's Victoria for? Queen Victoria. To remember her? Well, no. I thought you hated the queen. I don't. I thought Canada hated the queen. No, no. taxation they love the without queen. they love, love the queen. Yeah. yeah, I can't keep track of who loves the queen. This podcast is brought to you by two sponsors, Mac Weldon and Movement. Uh, you can go to MacWeldon.com to get twenty percent off your order using promo code Soup, and you get fifteen percent off your Movement order by going to Movement.com/slash/DudeSoup. More about that later. First, who wants to play a little nightmares? I will. Okay, Give it's it a me. it's your typical limbo. You run and jump. And then there's X's grab to pull. What do I need room. to collect? You uh, need to jump that into dildo. That, jump into the. That's thing. a hot dog. Sausage yeah. man. Um, you're puzzle solving. Yeah, you got a puzzle. How are you? Uh, how are you celebrating puzzle. your Memorial Day weekend, Lawrence? Oh, Just probably by playing Overwatch. What a great segue, Adam. Uh, our oh. first discussion topic is about Overwatch. But yeah, no. I'll talk about Overwatch. Yeah, what's going on with Overwatch? Overwatch. So, um, I was fucking with my mic what there. Is, what does Paul Tassi have to say about it now? <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up. So, Paul Tassi. I think you uh, and I saw the same headline. We're big fans of Paul Tassi here. Yeah, uh, smug his, face his sweet little smile. Um, no, I mean, so I guess as a brief aside, as as clickbaity as Forbes Gaming can get, um, they they're doing their job. Uh, Maybe click on things. Yeah, there. You, oh, I think if you hit. X or right trigger or something you can grab on the ledge. There you go. Uh, so yeah, Paul Tassi wrote a uh, an interesting article with some some loose math, but it all checks out on Forbes. Uh, the headline is, as soon as I get out of the quote of the day, we don't need that. Fuck off with that, Forbes. Still waiting on this old guy to load. Okay, he writes, uh, the headline is, there are not enough hours in the day to grind for Overwatch anniversary skins. Um, and he works this out by saying, so, quote, combining, combining a three-week window in which to earn boxes with the fact that there are more legendary skins than ever and no epics, and we're reaching a point where it's close to physically impossible to find, excuse me, to find all these skins before the event ends. So, basically, he's saying, if you're just playing Overwatch at a normal rate, uh, if you played, I think he worked out about seven hours a day, every day, mm -hmm. throughout the entire three-week event, that's almost a break-even to have odds to get every legendary skin by naturally playing the game gotcha so what you're saying is i should probably spend money that's the idea right so let's see here uh here here's the math i'm just, i think it's just kind of funny that no it's that's like, absolutely what it yeah is. he's yeah. like i did it i cracked the code it's like oh they just want me to buy things yeah blizzard yeah. wants me to pay money <laughs> to support the game that is putting up free content yes yes that's what <laughs> yeah. so it's quote using all these metrics on average it will take 27 loot boxes or 27 hours of play he basically uh estimates that you get one loot box per hour of play which sounds about right um, 11, 11 legendary skins would be 267 boxes or 267 hours, assuming no duplicates. There are only 168 hours in a week. Let's say that you're somehow able to play Overwatch for 8 hours a day because you're just that damn good at time management. In 3 weeks, playing 7 hours straight, or 7 days straight, that's 168 hours or boxes, plus or minus some bo bonus boxes for arcade activities. So essentially you'd have to play the game full time over the duration of the event to get all of the digital goodies. Is that good or bad? <laughs> um, I don't know, Adam. You you kind of you summarized it really well by just saying, yeah, you have to pay money. I, I was gonna say, you don't have to play the game, but if you find yourself playing any game for that amount of time, God, I hope you're getting a little bit of well, enjoyment out of it. I'll blow your mind too. It doesn't if you don't have the legendary Jazzman, uh, Jazzman Carruthers Lucio skin, you can still play as the character Lucio. Right. Well, no. Well, no, but he plays better. Nope, with it's Jazz the same. Oh? It's a visual and slight audio change hmm. to the character. So yeah, it's the, there were there were people, like, it's, it's weird because my initial reaction was, that kind of sucks, but then my second reaction was, yeah, exactly, James. They, there is no, there is no gameplay that is being changed by your inability mm. to get skins. And on top of that, Overwatch adds maps for free. So it's not like uh, it's not like shooters tend to do where they separate map content out. They uh 
know. Well, and all, heroes. Yeah, new heroes, new maps. All the stuff mm. you need to play the game is free. Yeah. It's you, just all the aesthetic stuff. That's, I, I, look, I prefer this opposed to the, I guess the other model is the free-to-play, and then the other one is, like I guess, the Call of Duty, and then the, the optional DLC option. Mm -hmm. I don't like either of those. Uh, I'm not I'm not crazy about being locked out of content uh, or having someone be more powerful than me because they pre-ordered the game. Uh, I like Overwatch because it's balanced. It is a multiplayer only game and we're still playing it to this day uh, one year later. So I think that speaks to uh, the merits of the game more than anything else. Can we start criticizing games for whether or not they're fun games? Uh, no. Okay, good. <laughs> that is not allowed, James. All right. Well, thank you for bringing it up. Oh, no. Uh, Actually, Bruce, this is a pretty tough puzzle. Let me know if you want any. Uh, what do you want? James, do it for me. Uh, oh, for, real quick, what game are we playing for our audience? Little Nightmares. Little Nightmares. Sorry, yeah, you, you said it. it. Sorry, I forgot the name. No, that's cool. Oh, it okay. looks beautiful, by the way. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a. Uh, this is a brief aside. It's 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 very Limbo esque, but it's also really good. I I mean I actually liked it better than Limbo. So I, I thought it was better than Limbo as well. Yeah. Booyah! Whoa, take that Limbo, you can. I mean, Limbo's great. Game. Game. Fuck Limbo. Whatever happened to Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet? Oh, that was fun too. What? Different developer though. <laughs> oh, I just had a Who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The but I guess going back to Overwatch, it's weird because the the assumption is the the implicit statement is it should be possible for a human being to get all the content for free because there is an avenue to do it, mm -hmm. but it's becoming increasingly apparent that that's not the intention. Should that you though? should never get everything Why for free. Why is that a right? Well, I guess you pay for the game in the first place, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's not necessarily about the right or wrong of it. Mm. I think it's just that there, the presence of the ability to earn that sort of thing for free implies that it should be possible to do it. Well, there's there's something to be said. So, like, because this is a complaint that we hear. I feel like we hear like once every month almost hmm. about a new game. It's not always Overwatch. It's just other games where it's like, well, I paid the sixty dollars for the game and now they have the DLC, but I can't get it. like I've heard that complaint a number of times with Battlefield and things like that with premium, et cetera, et cetera. But I guess you know, like like James just said, the question is, sh actually, should it? Should it feel? Should should it be that way? Or uh, there's on the other side of this, if a consumer continues to think, like, wait a minute, I paid for this game. Why? Like, eventually, at some point, when will the consumer be right? Um, and really, the the answer to that question is, you speak with your dollars, as always. Mm -hmm. So. If eventually, if you're tired of Overwatch, then don't play Overwatch anymore. Don't buy loot boxes. Just don't do any of that stuff, because that that will be the ultimate decision, and that will show Blizzard, oh hey, like the DLC. Basically, after you know a year and a half of people playing this game religiously, they stopped, and then, you know there was a huge drop off. They'll see that in the analytics and be like, okay, well maybe we shouldn't do that. I, that, I am, that might have been the problem. I'm curious if Blizzard will respond, just because Jeff Kaplan and his team have been really good about that they and have. communicating to the audience. Yeah. Uh, there's even like an IGN series that Jeff Kaplan did, like oh, a bunch yeah. of things of him like, reading comments, and stuff. reading comments, and then also like secrets, you know, five secrets about you know the support class or that like all that all that content's actually really good. But they all seem like pretty down to earth guys, and it seems to be right now. I've I've definitely I I'm I don't I'm using this word jokingly, but I fell victim <laughs> to the bad loot boxes where I got two duplicate items already, mm -hmm. uh, but they were both player icons. Uh. I was like, really, like. Okay, uh, but I get it. They want my money. Yeah, and they're probably gonna get it because uh, I'm okay supporting this game that I still put hours into every week. So, um, but that not, I'm not saying you should do that. That that's your own personal choice. Don't let mine uh, influence yours and make your own decision. Obviously, but it's a, it's a still a good game. And oh, that's <laughs> <fucking frightening. laughs> right. uh, a melty face monster right. just came yeah, out of the uh, chef. Oh. One of the chefs got him. That's why I gave the oh, controller back scary. to Bruce. So he gets oh, you spooked. knew it was coming. Um, <laughs> here's the thing, though. Jeff Kaplan, because they are very transparent um, as a group, at least, as a development team, has said in the past that just because you missed it one time doesn't mean it's locked out forever. Mm -hmm. So, yes, if you want to get all of the things in three weeks, you may need to play it like that. If you want to get it over the course of two years, maybe you play it less. I, don't, I mean, like, mm. they haven't said definitively... Oh, by the way, like, the, it's gone forever. Sorry. Goodbye. Right. I'm sure they could do that with some skins, like pre-order skins and stuff like that. Go down. Left trigger. Yeah, there you go. They're definitely, um, well, they're, they're creating scarcity in the market, right? Like a digital scarcity yeah. where they want they want you to feel that. And this this is the, the dirty trick of video games, and it always will be, is that it is an addictive form of entertainment. I feel like we've, we've talked about this 
nonstop. Congratulations, Bruce. Yeah, Bruce escaped um, the melty face, man. And so I, I guess if you're if you're an individual where you're thinking this digital item is making me feel a different way and I'm feeling compelled to pay for it, uh, maybe look at that a bit closer and feel like, oh, do I have an addictive personality? Is this mm-hmm. a problem mm-hmm. that can affect me? Am I Am I between the rent, the electricity bill, the internet, and buying a loot box? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Do your parents need to send you out to Utah to go to... Um, What's in Utah? Uh, the article I sent you guys this morning with that kid that was addicted to CSGO. And his, oh, parents yeah. sent him out, <laughs> his parents sent him out to like camp in the middle of Utah and, and get over his addiction. Go away. But then That's like... They were measuring his brain waves before and after to see like how his neural activity had changed, and I guess, yeah, his brain done broke from too much CS:GO. Wow. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I guess I, I think from the perspective, the business perspective of yeah, these these events definitely drive scarcity, like you said, Adam. But I also think that they are little reminders to re-engage an audience and per- perhaps attract a new audience. Hmm. Um, I know Lawrence, Stephanie, was, you said you was, was really excited about the new skin, right? Cause yeah, it like oh, appealed. She, skin, no. she thrashed around in bed, <laughs> <laughs> like with a picture of it on her phone. <laughs> it was it was pretty adorable, and also I was trying to sleep. But. Because <laughs> it really it, it really appeals to her on like an aesthetic level, well, right? Course, yeah. It's like she's, a, a genre she's really into. And she really loves D.Va, and yeah, there's, I mean, it's interesting that you bring up, uh, oh, a key. It's interesting that you bring up uh, attracting new audiences because, yeah, it's it's really fascinating. I feel like Overwatch, do, it's it's weird because I feel like they do everything right because they have a free weekend coming up, in addition to launching all this new content. So not only do they roll out a bunch of like crazy skins for the people who've been playing for a long time, but there's also a free weekend. So if everyone's talking about all these crazy skins and new maps, well, why don't you just try it out? It's free for two days or three mm-hmm. days or whatever. Yeah, well, it's, uh, they- we definitely we've all grown up in a time when a game would launch and they just forgot about it. Uh, we, we played it on a demo disc recently, but uh, that game, Section 8. Oh, yeah. That, that's, that was kind of the era of oh, yeah. it's out, and if not enough people are playing it, they're just, everyone's checked out. And Overwatch, will it lives and dies based on whether people are continuing to support it. Mm-hmm. And I, I do like this attitude of, like, well, how can we make it better? I, I wouldn't be surprised if there was a response either after this weekend or soon where they say, we're fixing the loot boxes. Uh, we're gonna try to up the chances, like of we'll duplicates. Raise the or odds. Well, we'll give they're... you more gold or whatever. Well, the problem is they're also all weird engineer math people. Hmm. So they'll say something like, "We understand your concerns, and so we decided to raise the odds, two point seven five percent for legendaries." Uh, three point eight per, and you're gonna be like, that's nothing. But they've done the math and they've seen that over the course of X number of loot box, it works sure. out to way more or whatever. I don't know. It's it's weird. The the only, I mean, the only complaint I have about the loot box system in Overwatch is I wish it would just check things off, like oh. if of legendary tiers at least. Mm-hmm. I I it's just always so frustrating to get the same legendary oh, I see. again and again. Like I've gotten Winston Safari like. A hundred times, and there's a certain excitement what? that comes when you see. There is a sprint button. Sorry. What's the sprint button? Uh, X. 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 Yeah. Hold on. Um, there's a certain excitement that comes when you see the poof and yeah. the yellow, yeah. and you're like, oh, and then it lands. It's the same. And then you're There's like, oh, I have that one, and then I have all of the four. Like that's mm-hmm. that's always kind of just like a. I think that's fighting against the feeling that they're trying to make you have when you're opening those loot boxes, and so I would say that. Okay. They could maybe sell more loot boxes. I always try and think of it from the business perspective. They could maybe sell more loot boxes if it, they sold it a little bit better. If it was like, hmm. you can only get a legendary one time, and then, you, but you still need to get a ton of boxes, you know? But you can only get a legendary one time <laughs> to do it. Lawrence, for, for the record, Lawrence started you and it. Yeah, like when is, the difficulty starts yeah. to ramp uh-huh. in this game. Oh, I, I don't play, know the buttons. Um, either, you're so. playing my save. You're doing my homework. Yeah, <laughs> so, so this is when the puzzles are. This is like fun. speed and there's based, a, like a lot uh, more stress involved in more, these ones. There's as well. timing and stuff like that. I so think you gotta lure him to the other room, then sneak around, that's, grab that key. Yeah, that's what I assumed. Uh, he, he turned around at one point. So though. it's he did. It's hard for me to, with the exception of James, the point you just brought up. But yeah, maybe we can workshop a little bit. Can you think of a game like a a system for a multiplayer shooter that is better than Overwatch? Because <laughs> to me, it's it is the perfect harmony of acknowledging that the game has to make money. I think it's unrealistic to pay $60 for a game and then play it for three years without spending any more money. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's a live service and they keep updating and patching and all that stuff. So, yeah. To me, it's the the perfect union of all things. It's um, it's the... uh, All the gameplay critical stuff 
is free. Oh. So all maps, modes, and heroes. So you, you, they never divide the player base. Mm -hmm. And then it's purely aesthetic stuff that there's even the implication you should pay money for. Not that you have to because you still get loot crates and stuff and maybe some of the, the duplicate systems and the in-game currency stuff isn't great. But even down to the point where if you get duplicates, you get in-game currency mm -hmm. that you can then spend on the thing you want. But Even that, though the exchange is real bad. I was say, yeah, it's so, like, when you get, what is it, 250 for a dupe ledge, yeah. legendary, and uh, yeah, regular items. legendary costs 1,000, but all the special event legendaries cost 3,000. 3, 3, You're yeah. like, that gets me nowhere. There's close. no way. There, I mean, yeah. like, you have, you have to buy loot boxes yeah. in order mm -hmm. to get those credits. And, which, and I, which I'm not, I, I don't, I don't think they should be demonized for. No, no. For trying to incentivize people to pay money, because there, there will be a small player base. The... You could always be strong-willed and say no yeah. to a optional cosmetic item that does not affect the game in one way or the other, other than I want to dress up my Barbie doll. Look, they yeah. they must have hacked James's email or something because they made a Super Sentai Genji, like or you know like Stephanie's uh, likes yeah. and tastes. It's kind of weird when it's like that's very like yeah. seems like they're targeting one person. Yeah, mm -hmm. or that I, I don't know. I mean, uh, Tracer does the Charles Charleston now. <laughs> you know, Joel's gonna play Tracer now. You guys yeah. say you know Joel's gonna do that. Like you, you purely have choice for those cosmetic items, but then they do such a good job of, uh, like, of <laughs> getting you addicted because you guys played so much Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> That's true. Um, Just for and ten that loot boxes. Skin was yeah, yeah. And, and Heroes was pretty fun. I I enjoyed it. We just played as Overwatch characters. Yeah, uh, I played as played as Bugman and. I played as Samurai, Orc. remember? Yeah, that was cool. You yeah. can split into a million pieces. It's uh, Kill it, everybody. But it, it's that uh, Rick and Morty meme they've done with the butter robot. Oh, it's yeah. It's like, what is my purpose? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. You play for skins. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's what you are, heroes, yeah. now. You are just a, a gateway for more skins in other games. That's so sad. It is a little sad, but I guess, yeah. I, I'm not a MOBA player, but hmm. as far as MOBAs go, heroes made me the least mad. Because I could at least play Zarya. You know, at least that, that point you mentioned about them kind of targeting two groups, the casuals and the hardcores, even their even their uh, patch notes acknowledge that. So the patch notes kind of like you were sort of saying that if they were to alter loot boxes, it would come from an engineer and there'd just be percentages and stuff. Um, they do that. So they'll have patch notes saying we changed Diva's health from like 500 to 450 or whatever. And then they have this paragraph for every gameplay change explaining in like more conversational English what that change was meant to do. Mm -hmm. So they'll have like, we changed Diva's armor from that to that in the numbers. And then they'll have another paragraph saying, we felt like Diva wasn't fulfilling her role in this way in the game that she was meant to. So we changed this to hope that we would increase her vulnerability to these types of characters. And yeah. I, I love that they do that. They don't, they don't, they don't leave it up to a bunch of shitty, you know, forum posts dragging their changes through the mud they can say this is what we want the game to be well i also get the feeling that blizzard listens to the community a lot like adam was talking about earlier so when they release those patch notes and say we felt like diva needed to fill this role or needed this sort of skin i'm i bet a lot of that input comes from the community mm -hmm. I, i'm betting it's like you know people that are that are actually thinking out their thoughts before yeah. writing them down they read those and go that's a well thought out thought when you know? we were in the office and they had just walls of fan art yeah, yeah. Um, I bet they get a lot of like hybrid fan art where it's like here's uh, like diva within like Kill Bill's jumpsuit or whatever or oh, like yeah. rockabilly uh, like Reaper or like whatever. I bet they get those things and they go, that's pretty cool. Like maybe we should think about or they're seeing Overwatch fanfic. Like yeah, I, I bet they think about that. Like Plus I I have to imagine like <laughs> just kind of the culture yeah, that they SFMs. exist within and we all exist within like it's the same sort of interests like Absolutely. shared interests and yep. and uh, genres and things like that so uh, like Stephanie really being into something and then it popping up in a game kind of it kind of makes sense mm -hmm. to me. Um, yeah, no, it, re it really does. The, I, I sometimes I feel bad for them because like I saw the diva rockabilly and then I thought there is an artist who went through and rockabillied basically all of the Overwatch characters. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure somewhere, not necessarily that artist, but someone's going, well, I hope they I hope they compensated that person for it. You know, I hope they compensated oh, that saying. person and for it. I compensated it. that person. I bought that print set. Well, I'm just saying, whereas on the Overwatch development team, yeah. like someone had sketched that out three years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Way, way before. And then yeah. it had to be textured and modeled and then rigged and all these things happened. And then, but then they saw that go up and they were like, I'm glad that they're excited about this, but <laughs> yeah. God damn it. God yeah. damn it. We thought this was going to be so cool. Yeah. yeah. I Man, I would love to see the sort of like hallway of ideas 
just all the sketches of the like skin possibilities just some of the wacky stuff because they've come up with some pretty cool ideas there's some weird stuff like genji and hanzo used to be the same character yeah oh. and pharaoh was a man rocket dude it was rocket dude yeah. rocket man then um, she became wa- rocket queen which i like because it reminds me of bomb king <laughs> <laughs> or her name used to be mercy as well oh yeah really? she yeah. was mercy originally huh. there's, there's a bunch of cool stuff in there so like i remember around the time sombra was coming around people were getting really hyped up and looking like at old remember when they, they released like original like concept art and there's like a line of characters and there's a red dude like this big red guy is that a and, doom fist is supposed to be no so they oh. re- they revealed it later and like oh that that was the original thing for reinhardt because mm-hmm. everyone's like who's this new character like yeah. oh, no 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 they just he was going to be based on a wilderbeast mm-hmm. cool and, they did a whole thing about all the secrets behind all the different characters and stuff yeah it, it's kind of fun to see like the the thought process that goes into these characters that are having lore dished out about them outside of the game. Like, I don't know. It, it's, uh, I was trying to compare it because you were talking about what's a better multiplayer yeah. game. The, the one that came to my mind for some reason was Halo Reach. Okay. Because a lot of it was cosmetic. And I'm like, oh, okay, that was pretty good. But I think they ended up having sold DLC for maps as all Halo games did. Well, Halo 5 was even a stu- a, a bit beyond that because it was the rec packs that you had yeah, to Yeah, Halo, Halo 5 is actually pretty good about its DLC since it, it actually separates the game modes. Um, but it still has items that tilt the gameplay one way or the other, and you need to get those rec cards. And it, it's it's sort of a it's a fun mess. It, it can be <laughs> well, much like all of Blizzard does. CS:GO had the loot box system long before. Yeah, you're right. Long before but you had to pay to that unlock Roblox, them. But you had to pay to unlock them. And then again, those you'd sucks. get certain skins. Those were all. It was all cosmetic. Didn't change the game at all. Um, but they had their own marketplace where you could sell the skins and stuff like that. So I mean, so the, they came up with that before Blizzard. But Blizzard, I, th- I feel like sort of dumbed it down to make it But that's easier. what Blizzard does with everything. Right, they perfect everything. <laughs> they're like the Ikea yeah. of loot boxes no, they, they, or just video games in general. And that's what I've always said is they, they're not, uh, they don't, there's not a lot of innovation involved with Blizzard. They're just, they just perfect things. They make them mm. almost perfect, uh, which is, which is pretty, it's an amazing, amazing business that they've, they've come up with. And uh, I, I, it's very, very hard, hold, hard to fault them. Uh, and especially when it's all cosmetic skins, it's like they don't change the game. So it's like, don't buy them. That, that's mm-hmm. the, the easiest, the easiest question, it, or the easiest answer. It's, it's just weird because the game did come out a year ago, and they're the fan, the fandom has only risen. I mm-hmm. feel like, and people are still itching for new things. Where typically, so like in, in the case of Halo Reach, you have one side is the story, one side the multiplayer, and you're never playing the multiplayer to hope for more story. Whereas with the character Arissa comes in, now the the opening part of New Bonnie changes. And yeah. Now now pieces of the levels change. And people are like discussing it and talking about like, oh wow, what does this mean? And it's it's all very subtle and it's not really in your face, and you end up wanting more. And I was like, this that's sort of like, this is next level stuff that they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the, like I said, the game is a year old and we're still fucking talking about it. They're doing it right. Yeah. They're doing it right. Well, yeah. so real quick before we move on, do any of you guys have? I mean, James had a a, a bit of a suggestion in regards to duplicates, uh, but do you guys have any concrete suggestions about how? Overwatch's unlock or loot system could be improved? I mean, I like it. It gets me every single time, so (laughs) um, make worse skins so I pay less money into the game. All right. (laughs) To James's point, the the duplicate is extremely frustrating. Um, And that's that's actually one of the things for me that has uh, swayed me from not purchasing loot boxes, is that when I bought loot boxes the one time I did it, I got a bunch of duplicates. And Mm -hmm. I, I got like five credits or 10 credits here, whatever it is. Uh, it, it was negligible mm. at best. And and for me, I was like, ah, well, whatever. I'm not super swayed by skins. Uh, so it wasn't a huge deal for me, but it, it just felt like, I was like, why am I going to buy this if I'm just going to get a bunch of duplicates? Mm-hmm. And I, I don't know. This is this is up to, this is a constructive criticism, I guess, for Blizzard. Just, if people are paying for the loot boxes, so delineate, I'm sure they know, delineate between the ones that drop and the ones that people buy. Uh, mm basically bring up the rarity of legendary skins and the ones that that uh, you buy I, I that's the easiest the easiest a- answer to that I think that question that everybody complains about I I've also I've played um, mobile games for a while now one in sp- especially mm-hmm. that deals in that deals in rarity and such and I if I could take something from Marvel Puzzle Quest it would be cool if you could favorite uh, favorite a skin mm-hmm. You have mm-hmm. one favorite, and you can spend it on any item that you want in the whole hero gallery. Mm-hmm. Favorite that, 
and depending on what tier it is, it increases the odds of it being dropped by a certain amount. That would be cool. And then you can do that. And then it'll be like, okay, well, this will give it a 10% chance of it or maybe dropping even or just something. Favorite a particular character. So if you main a particular character, yeah. they don't just want to encourage it. maining. Oh, yeah. I guess. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't. But I mean, they like, want you to play a, everything. Maybe sometimes there's a character you get. You, I mean, sometimes I get skins, and I'm like, well, I guess I have to play this character to try yeah. it out. <laughs> well, maybe there's a character you like, though. You know, because yeah. like, I mean, you don't just because you want a skin doesn't mean like, for example, I loved the uh, there was a really cool diva skin i forget which one it was that i was like wow that's really cool but i never played diva yeah so for me i was like well at least i, I would want this skin well, because i like i like it you know? what if you could buy what if there are a whole host of different loot boxes you could buy as opposed to numbers yeah. you could buy diva boxes, diva boxes. I love and all the items is. are diva items or something hmm. or or they're that's grouped cool. support tank tank boxes yeah. right and so they're all defense or they're all tank or they're all whatever boxes like that. You could do that. And it's still random and it's yeah. the same odds, but at least it's limited to this pool of characters. I think I think ultimately you want to keep it simple though. Yeah. You don't want I, to you yeah. don't want to smiteify it mm -hmm. and get it to yep. where you're like, this is the the jumbo pack of the week, is it and then it just becomes it, the realization is that these loot boxes are supporting the game entirely. Mm -hmm. Whereas right now it's it seems to just be aiding it right now. I don't think the game is solely dependent on people buying loot boxes. Well, there's they, they had those though, and like CS:GO, they had certain boxes that would yeah. correspond to certain guns. Mm -hmm. And I mean, they're going to get there eventually with Blizzard. Yeah. It's it's going to be, but I I'm betting they're making so much money on just this, like they, they don't need to make it any more complex. They can just let it go. Yeah. So I in, a, in probably a year or two we'll start seeing. It. These are these are consumer. Centric yeah. Yeah. changes. Yeah, I think they figured out better. the system, yeah. oh, they, which is yeah. why we're playing it there. and why we keep buying, or I keep buying boxes. Yeah. So I think they figured out the system. Mm -hmm. uh, these are just purely for the consumer ways that I could see it improved and would make me happy. But I understand if they don't go. If you with move it. to China, you'll get your odds. Yeah. Well, you can. They have to tell go. you now the odds of what you're going to get. Really? Or yeah. in China, well, so it isn't gambling. So Paul, Paul used those in his wow. his calculations because yes. I think it's like a 1.5% chance to get a legendary. Shouldn't it be even? Shouldn't everything be even? Oh. Is that communist it? right over there, right? <laughs> so. Oh, is that like a... Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, uh, well, how, much, wah, 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 wah. how much money do you spend on Overwatch? Like total? Well, <laughs> so I, I, I honestly didn't even know that you really paid for stuff. Really? Every single I mean, event I guess I, buy, I, I guess buy, I should have assumed. I, at least $120 on the game. So we've got... At least. We've got something okay. that our, our um, audience can But pay Bruce for. bought the game for me, <laughs> so that's that... That's right. He was doing his segue. Yep. Uh, so this podcast is brought to you by Mac Weldon, purveyors of fine shirts, socks, underwears, undershirts, hoodies, and sweatpants. The best you will ever wear is what they claim. It's hard for me to actually dispute that. Uh, so they have a line of silver underwear, which is also antimicrobial. So you can use them for working out if you uh, if you develop stank crotch. Um, typically, I'll I'll cycle workout shorts every uh, like every six months or so because they just get they get a funk that doesn't go away. But with antimicrobial shorts, I no longer have to worry about that. So it could be the last exercise shorts you ever buy. Depending on how you work out, I don't know, maybe you end up destroying those things. But um, they also want you to be comfortable, so if you don't like your first pair, you can keep it, and they'll still refund you, no questions asked. So really, you've got nothing to lose, you don't get a deal like that in Overwatch. Uh, go to MacWeldon.com, uh, and get 20% off your entire order using promo code SOUP. Uh, with, a, with a refund guarantee like that, and 20% off. Uh, you got, you got no excuse! To be comfortable in what you're wearing. So once more, that's MacWeldon.com. And use our code SOUP to get 20% off your order. Thank you, Mac Weldon, for your sponsorship and for your fine, fine undies. Uh, all right, well, sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut in too hard on you guys bickering about how much she's wasting on Overwatch. I wasn't bickering. I, <laughs> I was fight. Fight. You're just curious. Fight. Or are you back? Just yeah, I'm back. I, I, I mean, I, I got to... I'm, I'm good for now. Okay, we'll switch back. Yeah. Oh. Just for, the, just for the sake of audio mix, it helps if you guys stay on the same mic. No! Uh, I guess uh, this is gonna be a bit of a lighter discussion type thing. I'm not gonna harp too hard on any of these topics, but uh, there's some Preach. some cool tech ed tech uh, headlines lately. Mm -hmm. uh, Beam recently rebranded re as Mixer, trying to throw Twitch a little competition alongside YouTube Gaming. What is Beam? Uh, or what was Beam? <laughs> Beam yeah, was a, so they were a streaming service that was acquired by Microsoft in 2016. The, their standout features are they say sub second latency. So if you've if you ever watched a Twitch stream, you'll punch your thing in chat, you hit enter. It takes like five seconds for the streamer, or even longer sometimes, to react to it. Because there's a latency between what they're doing and what you see. Um, it's kind of the same with YouTube gaming. But Beam has sub-second latency, so they can respond to chat as it's happening. It's kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, they also have, these are just the banner features of Mixer, uh, something called co-streaming. So, 
up to four people can stream to one source and then Mixer will combine them into one stream and a viewer can watch all four people in one stream. Uh, it's kind of like multi-Twitch, except Mixer does that for you. Uh, and, it, and it prevents the end user from uh, having to watch or download four streams at once, which can can uh, put a strain on someone's bandwidth. Hmm. Uh, they also have a whole like leveling and... Uh, I don't know what to call it. Gamification? Yeah, that's... Yeah, so you get sparks just mm. by watching. They generate as you watch streams. And then you can spend them by hitting buttons that inter interact with the stream. So it can play like a sound or cause something to happen. That's kind of a cool way to... It's usually like soundboard stuff, but there's there's all sorts of cool ideas that could flourish there. It seems to be like um, a, a mix of Twitch and like sort of what Streamlabs hmm. integrates. Hmm. And they just, they just sort of integrate it into the whole... I guess now it's called Mixer. Mixer system. Ecosystem. The mix system. The mixer system. It, um, I don't know. It, it sounds interesting. Give him a hug. Aww. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, just in the game. Trash. Hugged a little gnome man. <laughs> and then if you light, you can light that lantern too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't, was that at like a checkpoint? I never figured uh, out what that You don't have does. to light them for it to be a checkpoint. Oh, but. you just find it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it's kind of interesting. And I feel like streaming by itself is becoming its own. I mean, I guess it already was an industry, but it's interesting to see how yeah. each of the different services are kind of trying to find their niche. I welcome competition in any way. Absolutely, that's true. So YouTube has Super Chat, which is a it's a way to donate to give money to a streamer, and they take no cut, which is pretty cool. So Twitch, if you cheer, there's a certain there's a certain overhead that's baked into that. Twitch gets some money every that's time. That's the bits. Yes. System, yeah. Um, and then on Twitch, you know, partnerships are also revenue share. Same with same with uh, YouTube gaming. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's kind of cool to see stuff mix up. Uh, Twitch recently they started their Mr. Rogers Marathon, which is I guess following in the footsteps of uh, Bob Ross and other and Julia Child, other uh, kind of like PBS related content that's not really on TV anymore. But it's kind of cool to see a whole new generation get exposed to Mr. Rogers Neighborhood and things like that. And they have new cheer modes. <laughs> They're called cheer modes. Yeah. So to to me, this is sort of, this is all indicative of, of the space either getting weird or just the individual services developing their, uh, their unique uh, culture or whatever. Uh, so cheer motes, um, typically when you cheer someone here, let me just hold that up there. You can see them, see them buzzing around. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you cheer someone, there's like a, a baked in little animated gif of what a bit looks like. And the more bits you you pledge, it would play a different little jewel that would spin around. And the more bits, it'd be like this decahedron thing that would be multi-dimensional and whatever. Oof! Don't eat me. So now they have cheer emotes that are are playing a playing across some of the more popular emotes across Twitch, um, like PJ Salt, what have you. Um, that doesn't mean anything to anyone who doesn't doesn't frequent Twitch, but it's it's nice. It's its own little culture, isn't it? Yes. So that's that's the interesting thing, I think. Not now you had you used to have like culture around video websites, so YouTube was different than Daily Motion or Blip or uh, fucking Vimeo or mm. Bing video. Just in the kinds of content you would find on there. Now it's now it's going to streaming as well. Twitch is different than Facebook Live, is different than YouTube gaming, is different than Mixer. Mm. And each one is sort of kind of trying to foster their own community and play off the, the cultural things that happen in it. I don't know. It's kind of cool to see. Twitch definitely has the, the we've talked about this before, but it has the clubhouse feel. Um, there's a thing every time, so we'll, we'll watch uh, Overwatch streamers usually, and so say a guy like Seagull is playing, and he dies and kind of like, a, like he'll, he'll do a Genji slash off the edge and he dies. You know, this is a pro player. Mm -hmm. He falls and dies. I always imagine it's the, um, the seagulls from Finding Nemo. The, like, the mine, <laughs> mine. Because the, the chat just it all becomes the same, yeah. And it's everyone saying "lol." People spamming which, emotes and stuff. Yeah, it is this weird hive mind. Like chat, chat is sort of this super gelatinous blob being, and it, it's all just yeah. it's just spamming. It's so it's such a weird thing. <laughs> to to oh, the the no. chat the chat culture is definitely something fascinating. I get it, and I don't at the same time. I just click that little arrow. And hide it. I go into theater mode. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. I love chat. I know you do. Some things, some things I chat. But if it's something I actually want to watch, oh, like okay. something that I'm invested in, someone playing a game I want to see, or yeah. I'm, if I'm impressed with what's happening, then I will uh, 
always get rid of the chat unless it's like salty bets and yeah. half the entertainment comes from it's the chat. monstering in chat all yeah. the time. Our, what was, but what man, was, it's what was a thousand last? voices, none of them Bruce unique. is trying to run across a table full of melty face people. It's who terrible. Are, and they keep grabbing him and eating him. It's disgusting. It's horrible. It's yeah. really frightening. Well, like, it is funny seeing how the, the gaming culture <clears throat> then interact with like the Mr. Rogers mm. yeah. stuff of the world. Well, Bob they're, Ross they're like, yeah, Nerf King Puppet. <laughs> and you're like, okay, yeah. that's that's funny. I, I get it. That. Like the, but that only really makes sense mm. if you're part of this clubhouse because like you show that to, let's call him a normie. Uh, they're gonna be like, what what does nerf mean? And they're like, you just don't get it, dad. Yeah. You're just not cool. Yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite examples of that was when they were showing Julia Child, and she just like straight up cut a live lobster in half. I can't. She's like, we're gonna fucking cook, and that involves killing animals, and that's what you eat. And chat lost their minds, man. I don't think they'd ever seen an animal die before. Why is it not uh, what the? Yeah, jump later. Yeah, it was a. Uh, are, are you sprinting into the jump? Yeah, oh, should I not do that? No, you should. That's weird. That's what I thought. Yeah. Uh, maybe there's something else you gotta. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, it was. Uh, it is kind of cute to see, like, yeah, like new audiences react to stuff in that way, but also mm -hmm. through the lens of Twitch chat or whatever chat in general. That's why I always love GDQ is because, uh, or games done quick, the uh, speedrunning marathons, because the chat. Is is its own entity. It is, yeah, like you said, this gelatinous cube of of screaming, uh, like copy pastas will rise and fall. Mm -hmm. Everyone will start spamming little crying emotes if there's ever a sad story. It's uh, yeah. it's it's something else, man. I feel like it's it's as part as much for me at least. It's as much part of the show as the show itself. So will Mixer be able to capitalize on this, yeah. or is or this, maybe they'll find a new thing? I don't know. What like so? I think I still feel like YouTube gaming is struggling to find its thing. Uh, right now, it's just for my money. It's a, it's a good working service. Mm -hmm. uh, it just works typically, and I think the super chat functionality is pretty tits. Well, t technologically, it beats yeah. Twitch by a lot. It can like, handle uh, bit streams way but, but higher. But you 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 lose out on that culture, right? Um, the Twitch culture. Yeah, the Twitch culture is like sort of the thing that you it's, want. It's weird though because the. Uh, the, the Twitch culture aspect almost happens because there's less people talking. Mm. It feels like. Mm. It feels like You're when right. you get really good memes going, there's 500 people in the chat or oh, something like that. And when I'm watching a stream, it's like, there's 500, maybe 200, 500 people there, and they're all, they all got on something and they're all on the same page. Sometimes streaming on YouTube, when you watch those streams, they'll have there's so much 5,000 yeah, people, so much and chat. then it's, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> It's just blocks of text, and then there's ticker. no way to even read it, so chat isn't even reading chat. Mm -hmm. That's why I... And it's just tough. I can't get into the psyche of someone that gets into a 7,000-person YouTube chat and starts typing in the chat. Yeah. Because you were just really putting that out into the ether for, for what I... Like, I that's, a, that's just a mindset and a psyche and a brain that I cannot relate and get to. And well, I, I think, know it happens in our chat, but yeah. I... People I apologize, to dear viewers. Ho ho. Yeah. No, well, <laughs> no I, I think. I mean, like, uh, I've tried. I've tried to kind of like do that occasionally, where I'll just jump into somebody's chat and then sit there and watch more than I will actually chat. And the more that I get into it, so I've started seeing also chats break off into discords. Ah. And even then, so then it goes from like a smaller group to an even smaller group. So you're sort of like paring down to, let's say, ten people that you end up hanging out with and talking and talking with. And then those, it's, it, it'd be like if you had a group of friends that you hung out, let's say you hung out with four other, four other guys, and then you're like, oh, I have this other friend, and he has his group of friends that's like three other people. You know what? I'll invite him. He'll bring those three, and then we can get together and play Capture the Flag. You know, like it's kind of one of those things where like basically you get all of your groups of friends together, and that's when you've got chat. And then you're all sort of like, you can all find common ground on a meme or something like that. And that's the way it feels to me the more I experience it. Is it like, it's like a little, uh, it's like a little community that goes from a, then to a larger community to a larger community, and then you can go all the way back down and just hang out with your friends. Uh, that that's what I've seen. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, I've said this before, but I always I always you know grew up watching uh, serial entertainment where the the like cool group of kids always had their hangout spot, whether it was a juice bar or a diner or yeah. whatever. Um, to me, that's kind of what Twitch became. I mean, way before that, like I have my stomping ground Quake Two server. That I'd log on to after school and just like chat up people yeah. and, and get to know them. Absolutely. Now I feel like Twitch chat is part of that. If you watch the same stream, you start to recognize people, and then you're like, "Hey, how'd your day go?" And then you sort of have that that vibe where it's just a bunch of people kind of shooting the shit and letting off steam after work, um, all kind of 
incidental to some dude just playing games and it's just kind of not it's not it's like it's nice white noise to have on in the background when you're just socializing a little bit while you're doing your own thing too yeah so yeah that to me that's what twitch is youtube gaming seems to hit a much larger potential audience base to james's point that's just youtube i think they're they're just everywhere in the world and so much bigger i feel like uh Mix or mixer, I almost called it Mixify, which is a different service. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like the the only way, and I'm not trying to be doom and gloom, the only way they can survive is if Twitch royally fucks up in the next Damn. year or so. Where no, they got Microsoft behind them. I'm now. just trying to think like you need a, a dig moment, right? Mm. Where mm. you make such a colossal fuck up. Yeah. That everyone digitally gets on a boat, sails away, and goes like to Reddit. To Reddit, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. and I think I think Reddit was always the the better service. It was just uglier, so people use Dig, and you know, is that Kevin Rose behind? It? It's pretty cool, but um, <laughs> yeah, I think it's something like if all the all the founders of Twitch go away, and then Amazon just basically makes it another front page for Amazon. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's curious. I, I can't I can't see them taking any market share hmm. like what do you do how do you how do you gain that do you just pay top twitch creators to come to you well i mean like they tried that mlg tried that with like pewdiepie and a few yeah. other people didn't work it doesn't work yeah so i mean like it's it's just depends on if it takes uh which we can never predict mm -hmm. um also do we know if uh, lawrence do you know if like restream supports mixer or uh any of those other services that I guess you could just then make it another easier. Yeah. That like it has to jump into an already established ecosystem, and I don't mm -hmm. know if they if they have has to support that. Twitch I mean, alerts, which it has Mixer alerts. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I I assume Restream does if, and I haven't tried it myself, but if, if Mixer gives you an SMTP URL and a stream key, that's all you need. Then mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. And I can't. I don't know how else they would accept a stream. If they have their own proprietary thing. They're also at the behest, or they're at the beck and call of uh, Microsoft. Yeah. So they are Microsoft's own entity. So, no matter what they say, I I bet there is a an Xbox initiative. They're they're already given a front page. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, and they're they're probably going to I don't know reward you for saying like you know streaming Halo Six or whatever the, you know the, you know Halo Wars over someone who's like the top Overwatch player. Say somehow magically they get <laughs> Siegel or someone. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Uh, well, that's what owned DS TV tried to do back in the day. They they paid and oh, yeah, you guys made that owned. point too. But yep. they they paid a lot of uh, at the time. It was like a bunch of StarCraft two players. What's the other one? Bazubu, Azubu, Azubu. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Azubu. Azubu. Another one. So, they're still around, I'm sure. Are they? I think they're. Yeah, I think they they get a little more traffic in in Korea um, because they sign up a bunch of esports teams and stuff. But yeah, there were exclusive exclusivity North Korea, deals. Though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ugh, God, they're like wearing geisha masks it's now. Terrible. Ugh. Kabuki masks. They're all just piled up in rooms. It's disgusting. Well, um, sorry. It was very distracting. Don't let, uh, yeah, don't let the, uh, don't let the horrors of the world get you down. Because you can block them out with a sweet pair of movement sunglasses. Boom. That's right. Movement is branching off into sunglasses. They, uh, they got tired of, of making awesome watches for the world. Those are sweet. No, they didn't actually. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Um, I'll wear the product. These are awesome. Let me say instead that they conquered the watch game Those and nice. decided to move on. Yeah, they're actually... Pretty good. So they say, uh, this is this is uh, the story that they sent. They were tired of having to pay for cheaply made throwaway shades or overpriced designer sunglasses. So they said, screw it. We'll make our own. Try on. Starting at just $70. Um, which, you know, if you're used to buying like plastic sunglasses, that may sound a bit much. But if you're in the Ray-Ban Ray -Ban game, that's pretty good. That's really not a lot for a good pair of sunglasses. Yeah, uh, they, uh, they say they're high quality premium acetate frames. Uh, the lenses are really great too. It's it's It really is a world apart because, yeah, I usually... If I ever wear sunglasses, it's just the crappy $15 ones. And and as I'm getting older, I'm discovering the value of, of paying just a little bit more for something nice. And that's certainly what these are. They're very nice frames, but well under what is typically a uh, designer sunglass price. Uh, so they have a lot of styles to choose from. You got classic, trendy, trendy, round, aviator, mirrored, polarized. For him and her, they say you are sure to find the perfect pair. So you can get 15% off your order today with free shipping and free returns. By going to movement.com slash dude soup. Uh, note about the spelling that's mvmt.com slash dude soup. Uh, yeah, 15% off, free shipping, free returns. If you don't like the shit, you don't like the shades or they don't fit, just send them back, get another pair. And yeah, they're a 
They're pretty great fit. They feel good. Yeah, they feel nice. They, yeah. They're not as... They, they don't slide around on my face much. They block out the sun really well. So smooth. It's like... It's the perfect combo, too, because it, it's not, like, too dark. I don't know. It's, it's weird to... to I'm, no, I'm no sunglass aficionado, but... I've worn sunglasses that I can't wear inside and out because they're just, like, too tinted. Mm. These are the perfect amount of tint. Yeah. So it, it makes outside not glary. I can still see, see things inside. I call those hangover glasses. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And boy, do I need those. So, yeah. Summer starting. Get yourself a nice pair of shades. Uh, Movement.com slash dude soup. Thank you for the sponsorship and for the sunglasses. Thank you. I'm going to look real good this summer. Uh, moving on. Got some uh, some other light topics. Bruce was totally right about Seaman. Yeah, <laughs> man is back. If Bruce was right about one thing, <laughs> you would ask me ten years ago. I would have said it's going to be about Sea Man. It's going to be about Sea Man. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a part in Sea Man. Maybe you'll get to voice Sea Man. I would love to voice Sea Man. I'm going to tell you right now, you shouldn't do that. Why? This is the Jontron curse. You're going to get Ooh. caught for saying something racist. Uh -oh. Well, I didn't say what it was, Ugh. but they're going to be like. Uh, we uh, were releasing a statement today that we do not here at Seaman don't agree with the uh, oh no with the way Bruce Green treats like his Native American heritage or something. <laughs> like that. Uh, yeah. So we have removed him from Seaman. That that that's something when uh, the future AI bots that take over the world get to read about you yeah. on Wikipedia, we'll see that uh, humans I was are right such about Seaman. Yeah. Well, no, you're removed from Seaman. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. I'm <laughs> Disgraced. They don't need, <laughs> it's just so one much. small line at the bottom in italics yeah. that says that you actually did predict it. The um, only one, but, then but removed. Since removed. A, a part of our audience, Lawrence was born after Seaman oh, sure. came out. What is Seaman? Um, uh, Real quick, I should I'll say about the game. Actually. Spoilers coming up. Oh yeah. Well, that's so, fine. We can we can we can just uh, big reveal. If you Pause want, it. if you want. Okay. I mean, it, otherwise, I was saying to the viewer. Oh. If they don't uh, want to see spoilers, we for don't the need game, to do that. We're 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 on the the tail end. Okay. So yeah, you can just leave it. Um, the game's almost over. You can roll in really? that. Is that it short game? Or it's it's, it's yeah. It's, it's accurately short. Let's look at some Seaman. Okay, as long as it should be. That's fine. I I mean, like you beat Limbo in a day. So mm -hmm. yeah. that's what Seaman looks like. Seaman. Give me more of that. Seaman was basically a fish that you maintained in a video game mm -hmm. and it was a real time thing. So what you would do is like you would have it running on your Dreamcast yes, and you would like feed the best system you forgot to say. And, I'm sorry, the best system. And basically you would you you would you'd start him from a tiny little baby to that. A sea boy. To, to a fish. Um, and spoiler alert, because I don't know how they're going to bring back Seaman, because Seaman basically walks away at the end. So <laughs> uh, at the very end of the game, Seaman sprouts legs, he, he evolves. And then the aquarium, like the walls fall down and the water washes away and he he walks onto land, uh, much like you would expect an evolved it's species. It's like a Tamagotchi. Seaman Jr. Um, just a big you, Tamagotchi, right? You talk to it, right? Yeah, you could. You could talk to Seaman. Um, I mean, like, <laughs> it was, but it was I love like, hearing Bruce talk about Seaman. But it was like, it wasn't like a thing that you, you didn't talk to him. I thought was, you had a microphone. Yeah, I thought you used the mic. I, but it was, it was much like a, controller. it's much like the, the bot, like the, okay, Google. Okay, yeah. Where I was like, you would say one thing, he wouldn't like, recognize it. And then eventually he would he would get it and say something back to you. Can you Lawrence, can you find the X Play video of Seaman? Oh, that one that was a, that was I think one of the ways uh X Play got some traction where people were like, that Seaman review is great. Yeah. Bruce, is why, Adam Sessor yelling uh, at a fish. Why is it taking so long to for Seaman to come back? Is it like is it geopolitical climate? Is it just <laughs> the studios like what? No, I, I think actually uh, Seaman was too popular. Mm. So he was so popular that when they sold I wanna say it was like a hundred million copies of Seaman. That's mm -hmm. a lot of copies of Seaman. And they ran out of discs. Oh, yeah, I think that's it goes. Uh, yeah. If you look on Wikipedia, it's oh, the Mario gosh. franchise, frame rate. GTA and Five, and Seaman. Seaman. Yep, and so they ran out of discs. There was a, a CD manufacturing problem, and so then they couldn't make a sequel to Seaman until <laughs> problems, uh, twenty years later. Whatever. There's enough discs that could meet the supply. There he is. There he is. Yut Saito. So Yut Saito uh, is actually a fairly <laughs> legendary Japanese developer. <laughs> Tell me about <laughs> it. Made Sim Tower, baby. Uh, he tweeted this today. What does it say? Uh, yeah, let me read the text real quick. Uh, seemingly, a new project is being started. Guess what? From the web address on their back, mm -hmm. but the logo is also the Seaman logo. That weird little it says frog. Mm -hmm. It says "Don't okay. panic." Don't panic. And then yeah, the the, the web address. Man, as how many how many a, millions of retweets did that get? Seaman.ai. And I I predicted this as a joke. Yeah, because we were talking about Sega franchises that would get a reboot at E3, and I was like, ha ha, Seaman, ha 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 ha. There it is. I should never have been right about this. Mm -hmm. I should never have been right. But he's got his legs, right? Yeah. This so has got to be a mobile too? game, right? Uh, it has to be. Maybe. Right? It has to be. Oh, it has to be a mobile game. It can't, it can't be anything other than a mobile game. Oh, yeah. It shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it shouldn't be anything. Yeah. Well, this is the point I remember as a kid. 
fun. Where I realized that games could be something else, and I didn't like what else was. <laughs> <laughs> like it was uh, games before this were all Sonic and doing cool stuff and gathering gems mm -hmm. and blowing yeah. up stuff and shooting things. And then Seaman was a different kind of game, and I remember going, "Nope." Well, I, I, I had like it. I had to play this game for work. Oh, I was uh, doing game cashers as a PA, uh, and basically what I found out was there's a hack for it. So spoiler alert: the hack is basically <laughs> you move the Dreamcast clock oh, yeah. forward. Oh, mm -hmm. and so then and he and Seaman won't he won't die. Like if you like do it at certain intervals, he, he just gets larger and larger and larger, and eventually he evolves, and that's the end of the game. Oh, but so. you were supposed to maintain him for mm -hmm. weeks on end, which yeah. nobody would do. Um, <laughs> there's no way anybody would ever do that. Who was his face so styled ugly. after? That's a great question. I Saito. No yeah. Look in the, can we look in the trivia? They must say. Sure. Elise, this is my official request. Thank you for bringing that up, by the way. This is my official request to be the face of Seaman. Let's get it out there. I would love to there. be the new face of Seaman. Hashtag Bruce Seaman. And face. even the voice. Bruce loves Seaman. Bruce loves Seaman. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be careful what oh, you're, no, what no, you're no. searching for. Guys, <laughs> please get that hashtag I did trending. Not. Hashtag Bruce loves Seaman. I did not. Yeah. Bruce, <laughs> hashtag Bruce is Seaman. Holy shit, you guys called it. Love Seaman what? too. A Saito? For the face of Seaman is actually that of the game's producer, Yut Saito. There so you you're going to have to fight him Ooh. for it and wear his skin. Yeah. So, oh yeah, so, well, maybe I don't, shouldn't be the, the face. I, I don't. I love, this, I'll be the voice. Be the this voice. legendary yeah. game developer Wait, too, what the fuck? gets uh, eh? taken down by Bruce Green. Like, <laughs> some YouTube tube trash honky just <laughs> yeah. takes your place. There yeah. actually was a Seaman 2 Oh, there was a Seaman 2? I didn't know that. Ooh, I guess it only 2007. Seaman 2 was the top selling game during the weeks of its release in Japan. 33,000. 33, that's pretty good. Ouch. That's pretty good. Ga sold a total of 61,000. Are there any oh. videos of the sequel? Wah. No. Uh, Wait, how did that happen? Mm, they were all the first really week they sold 33,000, <laughs> and then the next bird. week they sold That's It. They saw all the rest of them. Yeah, that's it. Hmm. No, uh, okay, that's it. All right. What are you doing, Seaman Two? I wonder. Like, oh, it looks like a man. Hashtag Bruce loves Seaman. I guess everyone. they're going back. Yeah, don't they're going back to Hashtag. Fish Bruce Seaman. Wants to I don't like. I don't like how Seaman misinforms people about how evolution works. That's my biggest, my biggest complaint about so? the game. How does evolution work? He's then? a fish mm -hmm. who then just grows legs and then walks out. That was evolution. That's, that's not how, how evolution works. Okay, all that's right. not how it works. All right. Seems to work. This just is Seaman fine. 2? Yeah, I guess trailer. trailer. Oh, man. Uh, that, so that's cool and all. Uh, in other news, uh, Castlevania looks kind of cool. The, <laughs> the anime? animated show for Netflix. Oh, oh I thought you just discovered the NES game. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of, I don't know if you guys have seen the trailer, but it's pretty cute. I haven't yeah. watched it yet. Very um, anime. Cute. I thought it was like pretty metal. Well, for Lawrence. No, no, no. The metal intro. Is cute. Uh, no, like, Seaman was a bird? <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Seaman. Hashtag was a Bruce's Birdman. Bird is he still Seaman <laughs> if he doesn't spend any time in the sea? Wait a minute. Oh, oh there's he's got penis? a penis. Wait, wait, I want to no. be that monkey. That was a belt or something. Yeah, he's wearing like a. Oh, was that Seaman again? I can't see a lot back here. Sorry, Ailey. <laughs> They're all Seaman. Describe it to me. They're all no, I a won't. Bird. You'll have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, he, he evolves. Horrible. I'm attacking that pig or whatever. Wow. Oh. So, so you're saying Spore rip this off? Yeah, you bet. So wait, hold on. If, if this is Seaman three and he evolves into a human, Three I want to be Seaman. I want to be naked Seaman. <laughs> Your cock will be scanned in, and that'll be the thing. Oh, uh, yeah. Jesus Christ! All right. Oh, that's just no, all that, sorts of frightening. This is pretty cool. I like. I mean, it's this came out of fucking nowhere, though. Look at it. It's all eighty. Do you know about this? Puts the yeah, I watched the trailer. No, 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 I know. No, but like did you prior. know about before they the trailer or no? Dracula's out card. No, yeah, I know. did you know that it was gonna? Because you're you're our resident TV <laughs> yeah, expert. Yeah, they announced it like earlier this year, or whatever. <laughs> All right, so you know. I don't know. Just because they announced it doesn't mean we get their RSS feed. Like, yeah, they you said. Do. They, well, they said they were. The thing is, I didn't know it was just gonna be like an anime. They said they were doing yeah, Castlevania, and I was like, oh, I wonder how Kevin that's cool. That I think that's cute. Is that Kevin Spacey? Yeah, yeah because it was like a Netflix trailer. House of Cards. Yeah. So it was like House of Cards. They had uh, uh, Narcos so is, on there. There is so. no trailer, really. It's, it's very... No, there, there is. This is. It's just a kind of a cutesy intro, and then it actually shows you clips from the so show. So it's very anime, yeah, which makes me a little anime. nervous, because... I, mean, I think it looks cool. Anime but is turned out. Most like of an ne out. Netflix's in house anime has seemed like shit. Yeah. People like Voltron. If it has... Yeah, Voltron's different. If it has the soundtrack, I'll just put it on on another monitor. That's good enough. Castlevania music is awesome. So that's kind of all I care about. <laughs> So da, 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 da. I don't think I don't think anyone has said this in the room yet, but uh, Alucard backwards uh, is Dracula. That's no, true. what? It is. It That's is. why I said 100%. I knew that. What is Dracula? Oh my though? god! One hundred percent. Roxanne's NASCAR. Um, Roxanne's NASCAR. Yes, that's also true. I love when people figure <laughs> that out. Those car door. <laughs> <laughs> that's door car. <laughs> <laughs> So it's not quite. July 7th, it's so soon. That uh, was an anime. 
I guess moving on to hard net, and we had a, oh. an upset. Upset last week of all time. Bob Looney took out Big Knee Lover. Finally. And boy, the audience was tired of Big Knee Lover. Yeah. Well, I like fine. reading comments about how the com- people were like, perverted off. the concept of hard netting has become. Mm-hmm. And while I agree with them, I would never go on the internet and voice my concerns. <laughs> well, yeah, the, there, we'll address we'll address some of those in the in the post show. It just I, you can't argue with the fact that it's something Lawrence came up with and then de- thus determines all of the criteria for. <laughs> so when you on the internet are no, shouting man, whatever, fuck through it. text, yeah, we don't. whatever just, it is, I just spam the chat. Hard net and used to be good. Hard yeah. net and used to be yeah, good. Yeah, because I have multiple Bruce times. Seaman. Bruce is Seaman. Two, three. Seaman. People still don't remember. So anyway, last week's winner was Bobble Looney, thanks to their amazing jingle. Uh, which I can't play because the Twitch overlay it wasn't a jingle. Support. It was a song. Don't forget. <laughs> it says jingle right there, Bruce. I know it does, but stop, it's not. Stop arguing that with just them. means they were wrong. Uh, they were wrong. T- today's entry, maybe uh, it's going back to hard net and basics, I guess. Uh, let me. Uh, Is it not face paint? It's not face paint. It's the uh, Castlevania trailer. It's better. It should be fade. Uh, Nothing's better than face paint. Well, the face so paint website that we used to look at? We discovered really a good. sweet YouTube channel, ah. Game Girl Power. I was going to say, this is going to come out show. before the actual. Yeah, I wanted no, to hang on to it for that, but. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I'm uh, yeah. May uh may steal some thunder there, and I apologize, but uh, that's fine. Game Girl Power is a YouTube channel that is the best. Uh, originally dedicated to strong females in video games, the channel has now become a place for creative, sometimes artful, inspiring, or just plain fun videos demonstrating that there is beauty in physical strength. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, due to re- recent YouTube censorship, most of the content has moved to their Patreon. Oh. Hope you enjoy the channel. Feel free to comment or suggest new content. If you're a game developer or artist who would like to see your work here, leave a comment, and I'll happily get in touch. Mm-hmm. Let's take a look at some of that art. Strongest women on the planet. That's right, right here. Can I Got watch a video? Because I don't know what this is yet. Yeah, yeah. You oh, can. you're absolutely so going to watch a every video. Time I this see, is the most recent upload, but every, they're all great. Every time I see a, a sweet neck beard uh, at like a convention, he has that shirt that says, Strong Female Ooh. Characters. Yeah. I imagine this is... This is... This this is, is whoa! What, yeah. Oh my gosh, she's ripped! That's mm-hmm. This is what they want in mm-hmm. games, and oh, I She agree. flexed so much, the textures came off. No, that's her flexing. Mm-hmm. That's how they show the flexing. So there's legs. vascularity and uh, there's non-vascularity. <laughs> so when they're flexing, that's it pops scary. in the texture. She's got like vascularity that. on her tits. There's no muscle. No, there. no. There's oh yeah, she yeah. Does it's the pector. Oh well, you mean the the boob itself. Part? Yeah, but if you get the pump going enough, right, it's gonna it just, pop out those veins no matter where they are. At least, do you want to look like that? I do. I'm I'm going to give to their Patreon. Actually, <laughs> I haven't. Uh, actually, I would like to see the Patreon page so I know start, how much I need to donate to get whatever they're taking. Yeah, you better start working. That's Absolutely a lot of work will. there. Oh, they set up the camera. Second Life Bodybuilding <laughs> Contest 2017. Heavy oh, Second weights. Life. Yeah. Man, oh so- boy. Oh! Woo! See, but now it's not bodybuilding. Isn't all about size. Mm-hmm. It's about symmetry. <laughs> All right, it's about shape. <laughs> so while you may be impressed initially by her physique, right? I know, I know. Please who understand. Bro- Bruce for. She looks like the bad guy from Resident Evil. <laughs> Nemesis. <laughs> Nemesis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think they look like clouds. Those titties. Though. Beautiful clouds. Ugh. This is disgusting. She's disgusting. So ripped. Beautiful. Oh, look at she. Oh, oh maybe so she. Shy. Just the announcer, the yeah. pathetic, shitty-bodied announcer. She must feel so so embarrassed. Oh, I'm, did you see the head pop in back there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I vote for the bubble women. Okay. Bubble Looney? So we bubble already got women. one vote for Bubble Wait, I was going to say, which is the bubble women? Elise just feels intimidated. I read it all about Kota- oh, Kotaku, the only girl syndrome. That's what Elise is feeling right now. I'm voting for them. Oh, you're voting for the muscular? Yeah. Oh, oh, you, said you, said, women. you said bubble women. Balloon- Oh, I she said, said bubble women. Bubble, oh, so it sounds like bubble women. Never mind. Hashtag then. Bruce loves semen. Kotaku's still right, though. Jesus Christ, those nipples. Oh, my God. <laughs> Woo! Woo! I think that nipple is bigger than her head. Like not, a normal size I'm girl's head. I'm not saying all women got, watching this podcast right now should aspire to what we're watching right yeah. now, but oh. you should probably aspire to what you're Can watching. Can you find right the video now. of the girl so strong that she Bench they don't have enough houses. they don't have enough weight in the gym? She has a mysterious benefactor who what? sees potential in this young woman. Oh, yeah. So then he continues. There's a story. He continues to buy her weights until ultimately Ooh. all he can do is buy her gyms, and then she bench presses the gyms. The gyms? Two gyms. They will, it will, they'll see it in Flash games. This is really yeah. good with Shinema here. Yeah, I don't want to give everything away. This is really good. <laughs> uh, He's giving us their everything. Their breasts look like, like pumpkins. <laughs> look like, look like right. Pot, they yeah. are perfect. What? Look at that. Ow! God, those thighs. Oh my God! Ooh, you see that? See that ab flex? Uh, see? Um, Lawrence, can you find uh. their Patreon? Because they were talking about how there's some, there's some stuff on their Patreon they can't post to YouTube, right? Absolutely. Whoa! Well, you it's might want to be careful. Shape every time. Is this uh, it's hot, hot Muscle Dream Girls After Dark? <laughs> uh, I mean, whatever. We're not streaming this, so I can do whatever I want. Game Girl Power After Dark. <sighs> it's yeah. uh, 
It's a tough. It's a top contender. Sorry, you Baba Looney. <laughs> yeah, like you're not. On. Your reign will be short. What, yeah. what is Baba Looney? My muscled ass. I don't even Baba Looney. Just some woman who it. sells balloons. Oh, that's right. You didn't see it. It was the balloon animal. Oh, yeah. lady. Game Girl Powers creating videos, comma art, art, because it's both of those. Yeah, don't be redundant, yo. Video games can be art. This is how. How oh. much money was she? Oh, what a flex! Look at those nipples, so tight. Those pumps. How He's much focus on the nipples? I'm focusing on the muscle. They, they don't. They hide the. Uh, they hide the value that they're getting yes. from Patreon. How much money were they making on the? They did, it didn't say. The oh. the, the number is. So hidden. she got a giant caterpillar on her stomach. 129 though. That's at least 129 dollars. Yeah. What strength? <laughs> you know when they when they hide the money like that, it's actually not them hiding it. It's typically oh, it's Patreon uh, doing it. It's Patreon doing it because it's probably not safe for work. Mm. Oh, mm. Okay. what's not safe about this? <laughs> if my manager walked in and saw me looking this way, uh -oh, like, what are you doing? Like aspiring? That's a naked person. What, where? Huh? Oh, where? Whoops. I can't. Damn. I can't oh, you're not, not on uh, Steam. Why are you yeah. browsing in Steam? Because I don't know. It was right here. I didn't feel like <laughs> closing the game. It might It might have made the Elgato flicker and I didn't want to have to resync. Where's the nudes? Isn't that a nipple right no, there? She's wearing a shirt, dude. Oh, okay. So it's we not a nipple. We should probably. That is not still. a nipple at all. I mean, it's not a bear nipple. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> I'm thinking we need to. It is painted on I think, flesh. I think we need to join the Patreon just so Woo! we could get in on some of these. 4K muscles. <laughs> Pop those bad boys. Hello, up. new wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Beauty in the <laughs> absence of light. Oh, it's gonna be tough for a future no, game. Oh, wait, it's a, have a it's constant a hard on. Too? <laughs> she dabbing? Nope, just no. singing. Oh, she sings too. She's a pop star. Man, she does everything. Looking for voice actresses. So many releases on the high horizon. We just finished Derpy three. <laughs> She's on her phone. <laughs> Marilyn two, three, and four all in the works. This is it the video of Jesse in the Shadows? Fiorgi five dollars for fifteen lines, or something like that. Wow. Which is the best thing I've ever seen in a job description ever. Damn it. Like that. Damn it. That's a good deal. You want to do that? Please. I have to do the Patreon? The voice. No, no five, they'll pay the you $5 if you nope, record nope, 15 nope. lines. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, that's what it said. Fuck. Oh, but I mean, one of you guys could do it too, right? No, no. It was a woman's voice. A woman's voice. Yeah. But you okay. just do, hi, I'm a pepper. Ooh, that's not how those beautiful yeah. young yeah. women sound. Beautiful women. Beautiful Hello. women voices like, like you. That, They're like, hi, I'm Candy. Tori's photo shooting teaser. How much you bet? Muscle girl crushes a tree. Female super strength. We animal. saw uh -oh. this. Yeah, yeah, oh, we saw no. this one. Here she goes. Ooh. Is that? Did she just fart? No, she's Bang. ripping up the tree. Rah! See how they seamlessly uh. changed it from a tree that was rooted to, to a tree that tree. was not rooted, so that you didn't notice because oh, your eye doesn't see that fast. There are, there are totally nips in this one. Well, whatever. There are. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, she's wearing like a fishnet that you can totally see through. No, no. What are you talking about? It's covered. Now you can see the areola. <laughs> yeah. Well, I vote for Look her. Her fingernails. Well, that's how she can grip the tree. Jesus, oh we've, we've been we've lived this she already. Like saber tooth. Yeah. Honestly, drawings of saber tooth in <laughs> the '90s are not too different from that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to uh, take it to a vote, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, who is there? Anyone that's going to vote for Baba Looney? Absolutely not. No, girl no. power. No wins. Girl power. Wins. All right, game girl power. The new victor. Eat Damn. shit, Baba Looney. Um, <laughs> that poor mother. I know. Yeah. Seriously. What it, what was their thing? Like they, had a they made balloons. Jingle. It was just a woman. She who, made balloon animals. Who would go to parties and make balloon animals. The balloon animals weren't that great and it would say like show, web show, guy. Show Elise. So is that um, just her trying to make a living? And then Lawrence kept pushing the jingle, the but it was just a song a that a guy Bye, talked over. Mm, 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 How much could she lift? Nemo fish. <laughs> That's a great question. Not nearly as much as those other girls. Sponge dude. Yeah, yeah. Either way, it loses. Yeah, sorry, me, it's me out. Cookie. Dead to us. That's better than no. any balloon shit any of you can make. I that's what I don't know about that. Yeah, and I de I debated that because I think I could that's do that funny. in about an hour. And I agree with <laughs> Bruce because <laughs> some, when I was like in third grade, someone came to our not. school and they showed us how to make, and everyone was making dogs. <laughs> like in like five minutes, they were. Yeah, here's how you make a dog. Webster hat. Ooh. A Daffy Duck's pretty good. It's not, that's Daffy, not Daffy Duck. Duck. That's Donnie Duck. Oh. They all have names. See, you didn't even recognize it. Oh. Freddy Frog. <laughs> I love it so much. Purple uh, Dino. Purple Dino. Got Milk. That's one of my favorite. Oh, I still feel anyway, for the jacked women. Bob Lane, get the yeah. fuck out. The uh, power Girls. Power in gaming. Game Girl Power is here to stay. Just and if you got problems with that, you take it up with the post show, because I'm going to be addressing some of that business. Uh-oh. On that note, I think today's podcast has come to a close. Happy Memorial Day weekend, everyone in America. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in everyone Victoria that matters. Day in Canada. And what'd you say? What Maybe some of the Commonwealth. Who knows? Beef, beef stew day in what? Australia. It's beef stew day in Australia. And then rain day in, uh, in the Amazon. I guess it'd probably be Victoria oh, Day in yeah, England too, right? Maybe I don't know. Let me check. Uh, look I, I know we have a lot of fun here, but I I do want you to be serious about one thing this holiday weekend. Hashtag Bruce loves seamen. Bruce yeah. loves seamen. Spell it right. Well, -A -A also we want we don't want just the face. We want them to use the whole body. Yeah, the so whole body. seaman. All over Bruce. I'll do the voice. I'll do the mo the modeling. I'll do all of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Seaman all over Bruce. I think it's time for Ute Saito to take a step back. 
And for Bruce. <laughs> Maybe focus on the game for a while. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> uh, anyway, if you're watching live, the post show will be coming up, but it is also pre recorded. Uh, and then after that, RT Podcast, if you're not watching live, thanks for joining us this week. Consider checking out the post show or getting a first membership at roosterteeth.com. Uh, then you can watch the podcast live and the post show and all that stuff. Submit questions live. Call me out on whatever bullshit you think I've violated this week. Uh, but aside from that, I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, Maybe suggest it to a friend. That's how we keep this thing going. Just word of mouth. Would appreciate that. And if not, no big deal. You're just listening or watching is good enough for me. So thank you for that. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bruce loves semen. Bruce loves semen. He loves it. Semen all over Bruce. Uh, it's one of, that's one of my favorite human reactions. Just to anytime anyone brings up anything remotely complaining about anyone, there's always the one-upsmanship of, of pain. It. I'm on and, this. Yep. Uh, it's like, no, it's it's worse where I am. Welcome mm. to a pain-filled bowl of dude soup. We can't even, we, we don't even, can't even afford a house to put this bowl in because it's sitting on top of avocado toast. Oh, um, houses. Yeah. Avocado <laughs> toast. <laughs>